More than three-fourths of Missourians are Christian, but within that faith, there are many different opinions and views, and those differences are highlighted as Missouri votes on abortion. Our mission is focused on the dignity of, of all human life and trying to put forth policy. And so in our mind, Amendment 3 does nothing to further that. We are not pro-abortion. We are folks that honestly believe that you should have the right to make that decision. Amendment 3 was put on the ballot by initiative petition, getting thousands of signatures from people all over Missouri. It faced several legal challenges along the way, going all the way to the state Supreme Court before the matter was settled. A yes vote on Amendment 3 would remove Missouri's abortion ban and enshrine access to both abortion and other forms of birth control in the state's constitution. Amendment 3 does allow for restrictions on abortion, but with exceptions to protect the health and life of the pregnant woman. Religious organizations that operate as nonprofits can legally support or oppose ballot measures in Missouri, but not candidates. Now to child care access and costs, which are huge problems for Missouri families. We sat down recently with two of the Missouri candidates for the U.S. Senate. Lucas Kuntz is the Democrat in the race. He's up against incumbent Republican Josh Hawley. We asked him a series of questions and are airing those all week on KY3 News at 4. Today's question, as a senator, what would you do to help families struggling with child care access? Each got one minute to answer, and we're switching between the two as to who goes first. We begin tonight with Holly. We ought to pass my bill that would give a tax credit to every working family in the state of Missouri, and it would increase based on the number of kids that you have. And it would allow parents to decide, by the way, how they want to spend the money caring for their kids. You know, if they want to have one parent stay home, they do that. If they want to put their kids in early childhood education, they can do that. And we ought to give a marriage bonus. It ought to be that if you're married, you get double. So that we're telling people, hey, there's a reward to being married. We're telling people if you have more kids, we're going to give you more of a tax break. That's what we ought to do. What we should not be doing is penalizing families with a marriage penalty. My opponent, Lucas Kuntz, has supported that for years. That's absolutely nutty. We ought to be rewarding marriage and rewarding family. You know, I grew up in a working class neighborhood in mid-Missouri. My mom was a school teacher until my little sister was born and had to have heart surgery. You know, it bankrupted our family. And my mom wasn't able to work after that because she had to take care of my little sister. And so it's just like the lack of child care re resources that we have is absolutely un unbelievable. I think we need universal pre-K starting at three and four. You know, it makes kids smarter, it gets them ready, and it takes the load off the parents to figure out how they're going to get their kids watched during the day uh, when they could be at work, you know what I mean? And so for me, it's about, you know, making sure that we actually invest in everyday people in this state and in this country. That's not what we do. Like, as a country, we keep giving big, massive handouts to corporations, you know, we take care of those guys at the top, and, uh, and it leaves us in situations where we don't have child care, we don't have the wages to take care of each other. You know, the minimum wage in Missouri is too low, it needs to be raised so the people who want to work can actually afford child care. And uh, we need to put investments into early childhood education. And so for me, it's kind of a, you know, there's a lot of things we can do here. There's an overarching goal, and it's just to make sure that folks like those in my old neighborhood can actually get to work and produce in society.